Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered, what does it take for a prayer to be answered? The Zohar tells us that a prayer, for it to be answered, for it to be manifested, for it to be experienced, as Hashem accepted your prayer and gave you what you requested, that prayer needs to cause a unification. What does it mean it needs to cause a unification? There's another very interesting Zohar in this week's Parsha, Vayigash, where Yehuda approaches Yosef. And the Zohar tells us that this is the unification of the two kings, and all of the redemption comes from this. And what is this unification of the two kings, and what does it have to do with prayer? And is there anything that we can understand from this that we can change and do things better practically so that our prayers are actually answered? The Baal explains that the aspect of Yosef and Yehuda are the two aspects that we have in prayer. One of them is that a person is intensely feeling their point of pain, their point of lack. When a person cries out to Hashem from within the abyss, from the depth of that pain, of that lack, from a deep empathy with your unmet need in the moment. That is one element in prayer, and that's represented by Yehuda, that's represented by David, and that's the aspect of what's called tefillah. But then there's also the aspect of praising Hashem. Prayer has this element of praising Hashem, and the Baal Shem Tov explains that that's all about allowing ourselves to be open to a wonderful reality where this prayer is already manifested, where we can experience the Geula, the aspect of Yosef is the Goel. We can experience the Geula, the redemption, right now and right here. And if you're able to combine these two, aspects so that your prayer is felt in the here and the now where I'm experiencing a lack and I'm able to infuse that space, sweeten it with the feeling of redemption right here and right now. This is a complete unification of what's called Geula and Tefillah. And this is the secret formula for having a complete prayer that channels the blessing of Hashem in a revealed way. May we experience all of these blessings in sweet, revealed kindness. Amen.